What's up guys, Ultimate King slash Ultra Atomic giving you some Witcher 3 gameplay. Now guys, uh, when I actually picked up, I wasn't actually planning on picking up this game. I was originally uh, just going to hold my money off, wait until another game comes out. Because this game didn't really seem, I don't know, a little too good to be true. It just didn't really grasp my attention. Uh, nevertheless, I was uh, pretty much, I thought this game was going to be good. And I still think it is a good game. Um, now, these are just my thoughts of the game so far. Obviously, I will review this game. Um, there is going to be reviews about it, but just as you know, a whole, I barely got into the beginning, and I could just give you my thoughts of what I feel about this game and how I feel like it's going to go. And uh, well, nevertheless, here it is. First off the bat about this game is the visuals do look impressive. Um, now, there has been some disappointing frame drops sound bites that we need to cover it's a launch issues obviously um uh, and they do kind of mess with the gameplay when it goes into cinematic it you you see uh some frame drops happening big frame drops i mean probably into the 20 frame drops per second it goes pretty dang bad uh, on top of that uh the voice audio bits you literally hear the voice go from like you know there's something up with the voice um voice overall voiceovers something's up uh so they definitely need to fix that big time with a patch now obviously they had made a patch and uh confirmed that there was some issues but there are obviously other issues other than that they said that overall visual uh for the x1 at least uh the visuals do get cut back when they go into cutscenes. um i didn't really see much of that i mean didn't but um the frame drops were an issue every time i went into cutscenes. audio bites are big on this game um, so overall gameplay when you're running around it feels sort of smooth there's not really any frame drops on gameplay when you're running around and stuff but uh, definitely definitely needs a patch to fix some of the bugs that it has in this game now getting into the actual story the story is impressive uh, it definitely is game of the year material when you're talking about story and I can tell why the reviewers are rating this a 9 the story is really unique I love it it's definitely way better than a Skyrim sort, uh, s uh, sort of story I feel like I'm I'm watching a very good movie when you're getting into this however the open world aspect of the game doesn't feel it feels very very scripted um, it's not um, per se uh, where you can do whatever you want it's non-scripted it's it feels very uh, scripted um, I feel like every time you go into there are all the, the, what, what I don't like uh, is loading screens now we're in a new gen where we don't really require loading screens you, you can take advantage of the new generation consoles and we still get those loading screens when you're entering a building when you're going to load a cinematic it has that sort of loading screens it takes a while for it to go in so that's what worries me at least about that uh gameplay can get and i don't like saying this a lot but a little repetitive I mean, uh, when you first enter this world, you get bombarded with potions, with uh, the loot system, with, you know, you have a lot of things in the plate, and I feel like you do get overwhelmed with this stuff. I mean, you just literally, when you first start the game, I feel like I just wanted to, you know, fight stuff. You don't get that. It kind of slows down from the beginning of the, of the whole game, and uh, it's picking up already a little bit. However, there are some pros to this. The little side missions that you keep doing to lead up to your main story uh, is pretty cool. I like the fact that you're kind of investigating the sort of, you know, things that happens. I like how the character is saying, oh, there's two cuts, lacerations here. Um, it seems that the person started running. Basically, he is a witcher. He tracks things. And I like the aspect of that. It's very cool. Gameplay feels a little... Um, I don't know familiar I feel like I was playing an old fable game when I'm running around I just uh, if anybody played fable before the original uh, it definitely feels like that when you're running uh, even the jump as you can tell it kind of feels off when he's jumping it just looks too freaking high as he jumps so I feel like it is like uh, the the animation of how he's running and jogging does feel a little similar to an older game like you, you literally when you jump into this game you're feeling oh this reminds me of a very very old game 
Now, n now, don't get me wrong, the gameplay isn't that, that bad. I mean, don't get me wrong, the gameplay is actually pretty good. It's just one of those types of games where you are going to have so to put in the work to learn this stuff. It's not something like Skyrim where you literally press A or X or whatever and just hit random things and then later on figure the other stuff out. This is like you have to figure out the stuff that you need to do. In other words, potions, in other words, setting up your powers, your tree, which I'm still not really getting the point of. Um, I'd rather just kill somebody with a sword than actually worry about, oh, you can get a shield or you can get a fire or you can get all that other stuff. So definitely uh, they need to fix some of the stuff. I feel like the gameplay is a little let down for me. I was hoping more of a combat based. However, the story is what's really getting me into this so game so far. Not necessarily the do. gameplay, but the overall contract. story. No. It feels amazing careful. in this They're world. You are definitely winter. attached to this character. The character oh, yes. is freaking awesome. Um, that's one thing also. Uh, I like the fact that there is an organization of these guys, which are known as the Witchers, uh, and there's some people that are hunting them down. Now, I'm not going to say who it is or anything, but obviously that's one of the main story plots, is someone is hunting them down, and it's a very cool um, uh, plot into this story as I'm just playing this game right now. Um, obviously, uh, it does feel a little like Skyrim. Um, I think anybody who picks this game up, um, and I'm and I'm, I'm gonna say this very carefully, anybody who picks this game up and has has played difficult RPG games, uh, I think will enjoy this game. Now, someone who is really one of those gamers that kind of just wants something to, and I know a lot of there's a lot of gamers out there that want to just get into the game start playing let's do this have good story you know fast pace sort of like i want to say that like i don't want to say that but i want to say that it's something like you just want to get in there you want to kill some things and you know describe everything else later uh, uh this will not be the game for you uh but if you want a game that will definitely take time for you to get in there definitely takes time for you to learn and it definitely has good story uh i would definitely recommend you guys pick this up so guys that is my first impression of witcher 3 and uh let me know in the comments below what you think about witcher 3 if you even bought witcher 3 or maybe after this review you guys maybe want to you know plan on picking it up maybe not i mean i wouldn't just base it on my review obviously you want to see it on other people's channels of um you know what they think uh, i i would do the same thing i wouldn't just be looking at one video and then justifying it me uh, actually buying it but um definitely so guys this will be the end of my video don't forget to rate comment subscribe and don't forget to kick that like button on the way out ultimate king slash ultra atomic out and man i did terrible in this scene